This is Bryson with DIYShopFinder.com and thank you for joining me on my journey for budget upgrades and repairs on my 1969 Mustang Mach 1. As you can see there are a lot of goods and a few and quite a few bads on this. We have a 429 engine in it that I rebuilt when I was 21. Um, it runs really good, still starts up almost every time. It's a great engine. Uh, there are some other things we need to do to make this work a little better. One thing is a transmission leaks really bad and we have a few engine leaks. So we'll get working on those, um, get those fixed. One of the major issues we have is a lot of wiring issues. So we have regulator issues related to wiring. Go in here, you can see I've already taken the dash out because we had some issues inside the dash. So that's one of the big things to make it nice to drive, not have to worry about those type of repairs. Some of the other things we need to work on, I wanna do is I have louvers here, paint started fading. So I'm gonna repaint those, not a big issue. One of the really big ones that I'm still gonna to have to figure out quite a bit is what to do with this dash. Now you can get a reproduction dash for about $500, um, depending on which brand you get, it could be more or less or you can get a dash cap for about $170, $180. I think what I'm gonna try and do is I'm gonna try and repair this one or recondition this one. So we'll see how that goes. Um, one of the other things I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put traction bars on it. We're getting a lot of axle wrap in it. So put some traction bars and along with that, I'm planning on building some subframe connectors with some steel I have laying around, some scrap steel. And then, um, we need to recondition the dash some. Uh, it needs bulbs, so I got LED bulbs I'm gonna be putting in the dash and cleaning up some stuff related to that. And finally, one of the big things I wanna do that I've seen quite a few videos on and a lot of uh, classic car enthusiasts are currently doing this, is converting it to electronic power steering. So, here is an e-pass system from a Toyota Prius. Now there are ones designed for these cars on the market, but they cost about $1,400. Now what I'm trying to do is more of a DIY and budget type work. So, you know, join me on this journey of uh, figuring this out myself. And thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.